A summer crime spree after multiple shootings this weekend, continuing into the week. Now, Wilmington police say it's all related to a spike in gang activity. Our Andrew James sat down with Police Chief Ralph Evangelist, and he joins us in studio with more. Andrew. Well, Amanda, we've seen the DA's office take a stand preventing gang members from communicating. The city partnering with motels to deter crime. However, when asked how the numbers are doing, the chief tells me these latest crimes involve both. There has been an uptick in, in gang activity, no question about that. A man kidnapped and dumped after being shot multiple times. A day later, a gunfight and chase that left a Wilmington neighborhood on edge. People being shot at or shot, but there's always, there's an, there is not always, but most of the time there's a gang nexus there. Wilmington police report a slight increase in shootings this summer compared to last year. Police Chief Ralph Evangelist says that's expected. The summers were always busier. Overall, gun crimes are down compared to last summer. One of the key things that is different now from then, the gang injunction the district attorney's office has put in place to keep members separated. I talked to neighbors along Klein Road where a man was dumped after being shot. They don't see the injunction as the perfect solution, but neither does Evangelist. We're going to have to get more uh, ag aggressive and enforcement wise. The chief telling me the latest shootings all stemming from criminal activity along a Market Street motel. One not involved in a voluntary effort to inhibit crime like others. There's some more work to be done out there and we're going to work uh, you know, with our city attorney's office and the district attorney's office and, and try to uh, tighten up some of these other hotels also. Now the chief tells me he plans to get the state and federal gang task force involved as a search continues for that second suspect from this weekend's shootout. Amanda.